Good morning, this is Laura from Assimilate. In this video, we'd like to take you for a tour into the gallery and collective tools available in Scratch V8, so you can discover how this new functionality can greatly improve your on-set or post-production workflows. Starting in V8, Scratch now has a new way of managing new references and grades, along with some UI improvements. To start with, let's enter my tutorial project, select a construct, enter the player and the trace menu. Ok, so first look at the, at the left side. You can see that you have two tabs, project and gallery. Project. This is where you create shot references or frame references to shot in the projects. These references are linked to their sources and hence to the project. Gallery is your private library in which you can add and manage your grades and effects. As a private thing, this gallery is saved on your disk in your user setting as a single JPEG file that holds all color, composite, data and animation. This means that they are available across different projects. Let's start by a typical on-set dailies job. This will show us how using Project Tray is the fastest way to speed up the on-set work. It will also introduce some of the new icons you can see underneath the mini timeline. These icons are common to the project and gallery and we are going to see how to use them in context during the following steps. The unique structure of the Scratch construct is the fastest way to organize and manage your work. In this example, I made a first group with two constructs. In the first one, I loaded my rushes straight flat. In the second one, I loaded them by reels, which is better. Now, in an even more convenient way, I created another group in which I arranged each construct to contain my shots by real IDs. For now, let's select the constructs A007. Currently, those are red row of shots. This is natural light shot, and I'd like to first check the debayer and overall look with the DP. I can access these values directly from within the matrix and start doing some tests. Something unique in Scratch is that at any time, I can easily keep a color decision by swiping to the right and add a version of my shot. So here I do several quick debayers tests, like trying different white balance and gamma curve, or tweaking the ISO, exposure, saturation. adding a new version each time, so during a review session, I can show the different options. Once the DP or the director are happy with a specific one, I can add a note for future use. Now, what I want is to apply this adjustment over the whole series of shots. Looking at my project, I can see my whole timeline is already there. All I need to do is use the four squares icon to wrap the shots, drag a lasso and use the copy to tray option. Done. Now I can check that the selected settings have been applied to my whole shot selection. I may also need to apply a specific settings just to a group of shots, for example backlight, which could have been dispatched over several reels. In this case, I can create a new group in my project and using the edit menu, call it backlight. Then and add a reference for each shot that I want to be part of this group. Of course, you can use your control surface to do it, but it's difficult to do so in a video. 
Once done, I can modify the values of one of the shots and quickly update all his neighbors in my backlight group. Here is another example. I did some very quick grades here on a few shots with just primaries. Like this, 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 and this. Now park up one of the graded shots and locate the Add button. In the drop down menu, just select Add Copy, default, or simply Add. Do the same for each shot that you've graded. Once done, locate and click the Edit. This option also allows you to customize the names of the grades that you've just saved by clicking at the bottom of each thumbnail. Now that we've saved a few grades, let's go to another construct Enter the player and trace menu Select one of the grades from the gallery and drag and drop it to the viewport This will paste the grade onto the destination shot If you are unsure, you can first use the preview option to visualize how the shot will look or select different grades from the gallery and see how they impact the same destination shot. You can also compare the graded versus the ungraded version using the overlay mode available in the viewport tools. Once happy, just hit apply or drag drop the grade. In the viewport menu, the new Film Street tool is an efficient way to display and navigate to any location in your timeline. It is available from anywhere in the player. In the current case, use it to select any ungraded shot, drag a grade, then move to other shots and proceed the same way. You can also select the desired grade in the gallery and uh, while maintaining the control key on your keyboard, drop it onto several shots in the film strips. Now let's go a bit further. Typically, each colorist, job after job, enriches his own gallery. At some point, understanding the Scratch UI and the flexibility that it provides will help you gaining in efficiency and creativity. If you look closer at my gallery, you can see it has different kinds of elements organized in separate groups. It is important to understand that the gallery is not limited to only color correction elements. Turning the preview mode, I can show you some typical looks but also some compositing elements, such as watermark, a customized burn-in, or even any plugin. Here I have a lens flare. I also have some shapes, but also keyer settings, and arranged all these elements by groups, so they are easily searchable. The size icon, first on the left, allows me to reduce the size of the grade thumbnails. The fourth square icon, the second one, actually wraps and unwraps those. Same as used earlier, Add offers me the option to add grades, but also groups, and Edit allows me to rename or delete some of them. Some grades are more complex than others. As an example, this one contains several layers. Copying this grade into the gallery is done using the Add button. By default, the added grades contain both the primaries, but also layers, and any additional parameter like vectors, curves, LUT, etc. If you look at the Add Plus option, you can see the Copy-Paste option menu. In the same way, you could decide to paste only a part of the grey by using this time the Apply Plus option. 
Let's see this in details because it's important. We can see this shot here has a curve adjustment in the primaries, but also a grading lot. It also has a layer adjusting the smoke, a vector adjustment on the pink, another one on the green, and finally, a HSV keyer used to adjust the blue. Now, I'll go to my gallery and add this grade so all its components are saved. Then, select, for example, this close-up of the kit in the background. Selecting Add Plus, I don't need the layers, neither the vectors or the curve, so I select the grading LUT only and hit Apply. Realizing I need the same curve adjustment, I can use the reset and this time select both curves and LUT in my Apply Plus menu. I can then select again another shot. Activate the layer and apply. So basically, combining the Add Plus, Apply Plus and usual paste options allows any combination parameters to be used in the copy of a grade to a shot or multiple shots. You can invoke the memory bank from the top menu. The memory bank is intended to be used in conjunction with a control panel and are displayed as a floating window. The good point is that memories are not limited to the matrix UI. Banks can be filled one by one or using a multi-select. Now that we have some grades in memory, let's turn on the preview mode. Switching from a memory to another will switch the current grade. Also, the Add Layers, formerly Plus as option, in the Apply Plus, allows me to not switch, but add grades adding up full grades or grading elements on the top of each other. Scratch V8, together with the new Maya Simulate site, offers a set of cloud-based collaboration tools. The gallery service in Maya Simulate offers you the option to store all your local Scratch galleries and user settings in a secure cloud environment so that they are available on any local system at any time without having to manually copy files. In addition, Maya Simulate allows you to share grades and looks with other Scratch users. Storing and synchronizing your galleries with your Maya Simulate account just takes a few clicks. To do so, exit the current project. At the bottom of the user column, notice the Manage Profile button and select it. That pops up the Maya Simulate login window where you can enter your credentials. The simplest task would be then to synchronize. What it does is compare and sync the local and the online grades, making both libraries similar. Which means that if during your session you removed some unnecessary grades from your gallery, they will be removed from the online versions too. Now, if you use a web browser and navigate to your Maya Simulate account and then Galleries, 
you can see the grading items you've just synchronized as a private collection. As said, it is up to you to share some of these items and make them available to the Scratch community. With regards to the advanced option available, please refer to the user guide or support site for more details on how to use them. This is enough for today. We hope you enjoyed a small tour. Keep in mind that we have other videos available at www.assimilateinc.com and a friendly and efficient support and scratch Google list. Thanks again for your attention.